You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to Adorama TV. Today we're taking a look at FlickPad Pro. It's an app that makes viewing Flickr and Facebook pictures really fun. So let's dive in and take a closer look at FlickPad Pro. FlickPad Pro allows you to really quickly and easily browse images from Facebook and Flickr. And so once you have your account set up, the first thing that happens when you open the app is all the images that were shot from today and uploaded will load in. Now I've got a bunch of friends on Facebook, so it's going to take a little while to load in a bunch of pictures. But really what happens is once you have the images on your, uh, this desktop here, once you've seen it, you can flick it and that says I've seen that image and another one pops up and you can take a look at that and then you can flick that off the screen and you can just keep doing that and new images will appear until you've seen all of the images. Now there's a bunch of things that you can do that make it really easy to navigate with this and uh, let me walk you through those. So let's say that we want to uh, zoom in on a photo. So here's a photo of uh, George. It looks like he's driving down the road. If I want to zoom that, I can just tap on that uh, image and it zooms in and I can see who it's from and the album that it's uh, in and that makes it really easy to, to look at. So I can tap that and it'll go back or I can squeeze this and it'll zip back down and I can see all of my images and I can move these around. Well, if I want to view the album that that's in, so this is in uh, George's mobile uploads, I can um, tap on that twice and then all of those from his mobile uploads will load in here. Now, if I want to go back, I want to do one other thing. Let's say I want to load in every single photo that George has taken. So instead of um, uh, tapping on that once to just see the one image, tapping on it twice to see the ones that are in that album, I can do one, two, three, and it's going to load in all of his albums. And so then I can go through and look at everything he's uploaded. And it makes it really, really easy. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can um, uh, do some touches. And so here's a shot of Matt Bailey. He's over there at Live Books, a really good guy. Um, now, if I uh, push and hold, then the option men menu comes up. And I have a bunch of options that I can do with this photo. So I can email it to somebody else. I can say I've seen all of Matt's stuff. Uh, if I don't want to see any of Matt's images, um, I can say hide Matt. Um, or I can say bring back the last photo because I accidentally flicked it off the screen and I didn't want to. So there's all kinds of things that you can do there. Now, the other thing that you can do is uh, if I want to say this is one of my favorite pictures, well, then I can um, push two fingers on there and then that's going to put a little heart on that and that says that um, that is one of my favorite photos. Now, the other thing you can do is once you've seen a photo, you can flick it off the screen and that says I've seen uh, that image. If you want to say that I've seen um, the album and the user, instead of flicking with one uh, finger, I can use two and updates it so it's saying I've seen everything from that user or from that album. Now, uh, one of the things that I showed you earlier was that you can touch something with two fingers and mark that as a favorite. Now I can go up here to the right hand side and if I want to see my favorites, I can say uh, show me my Flickpad faves and then here are all of my faves. Here's one of my friends here. Here's Taylor from Australia. You never know what you're going to get with that guy. So he's in there. Here's some Matt Bailey shots. So here's a little cartoon that Taylor made of Diana, myself, and my friend Z in New York. It's a lot of fun. So there are all the faves that I have stored. Um, now, the other thing that's really cool, this does uh, not only your um, Facebook pictures, but also does your Flickr pictures. And to switch between those, you hit this little guy up here. And uh, you can also have multiple users, so I'll talk about that in a second. But I can say, I only want to see my Flickr pictures. And so um, I've shut off all the Facebook friends. And this is uh, showing me no pictures because I need to go back and see some of the images that people uploaded. So here's some images. Here's one from my friend up in, uh, <clears throat> in Washington. So she's got some really cool stuff here. And so I can go back and forth and have all kinds of things there. So I can separate Flickr from Facebook. Now, the other thing that you can do uh, when you go in here, so I'll turn Facebook back on. You can actually uh, control what you're seeing. So I'm going to go in here and hit this little uh, wheel up here, and there's some settings. And uh, if you have a lot of friends or some friends that you don't necessarily want to see their pictures, you can go in here to my settings on Facebook, and I'll go in here to my friends. And what this is going to do is it's going to load in all of my friends. And you can see I've got just bunches of friends on Facebook. Now, maybe I don't want to see all of the images. So here's Crystal. She's one of my friends from years and years ago. I'll say, no, I don't want to see Crystal's images. And then all of hers will go away. Or I can say, I don't want to see any of my friends. And once I hit this uh, little none button here, um, then I can just go in and say, OK, Kale is somebody. I just want to see her pictures. And then I want to go in here and I'll say, you know, I want to see uh, Daniel's pictures. And then once I have that set, 
then I can go in and make sure I'm only seeing those people's pictures. And so once again, um, I need to separate my Flickr pictures from my Facebook pictures for that to take effect. But that's, that's how that works. It's really, really nice. Now, if you ever get lost, you can always go into this little uh, button right here and it will give it all your help so you know exactly how many clicks to uh, push to, to see different things. Um, the other thing I talked about, this fast user switching, let's say that I want to share my iPad with somebody else and they also want to use this app. Well, you can hit this little plus here and when you do that, then you have a new account and then you can sign into Facebook and sign into Flickr. So I might have myself, my wife, um, you know, if we had kids, they might be able to uh, use this as well. So you can switch back and forth between different accounts. And so you can share this application between different people, which makes it really a great app to use at home. Well, there it is, FlickPad Pro for the iPad. It's a lot of fun zipping around and looking at our pictures from Facebook and Flickr. Well, remember, if you have an app that you'd like me to review here on Adorama TV, just send your suggestions to askmark at adorama.com. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.